Hey folks, I just want to take a couple of minutes to go over a few observations that I've made about things that I think are pretty common causes uh, for either causes for writer's block or just things in general that, that tend to derail creative projects. Um, obviously in the context of this course we want to focus on, on the writing itself, but um, like I said, I think that this stuff does apply to pretty much any time that you're given any kind of a project to do so uh, but anyway let's just go ahead and talk get started the first thing is this idea that a lot of times people feel like they don't know um, enough about what it is that they're supposed to be writing about uh, this is especially problematic when you're given a writing task by an authority whether the authority is a teacher in a class or the authority is a boss uh, at you know at work or something like that and it may just be that you you find yourself interested in writing about something but for some reason you don't know enough about it but I want to be really clear here though when we're talking about lack of knowledge it's sometimes actually you can break that up into two different things first of all it's not knowing like what it is that you're trying to write so maybe it could be that if you are given a, a task by an instructor or by a boss um, and you don't know exactly what to do it may be the moment where you can actually go to that person or you should try to ask for some sort of clarification so that you can get more information and maybe that will help you uh, move on. I know that just in my experience as an instructor but also as a student as well I guess um, there have been many times when I was asked to um, you know do something or write something or maybe I've, I've given my students a prompt and the students or or in the cases when it was myself maybe, maybe we didn't always know exactly how to proceed and there was just that extra kind of uh, a little question needed to be answered or some sort of additional clarification was really helpful um, there are also situations when you may actually be um, you may actually need to do a little bit of research, you know, find out more information about the topic that you're supposed to be writing about. Now in some cases this might not be appropriate, like if you're given a you know, if you're if you're given a task by an instructor, if you're given an assignment and you're supposed to, you know, write a short story or if you're supposed to write um, an essay about like your opinion or your knowledge of something then it may be outside of the boundaries of what's acceptable for that given context to go do research but in a lot of situations doing a little bit of research is very helpful of course you always want to keep track of where you get your information from so that you're um, citing appropriately and, and giving credit to um, you know the authors or original authors of source of information from sources um, and then there's also this idea of brainstorming, which kind of fits into uh, the second thing as well. But the brainstorming is oftentimes a way for you to get ideas out that you might not otherwise have just kind of latched right onto. So you can spill a whole bunch of stuff out onto a scratch pad or onto um, you know some kind of random Microsoft Word document that you made and then when you start sifting through that you may have um, you may have the ability to kind of piece things together so that you get a sense of what it is that you're trying to create you know one of the one of the most important things when it comes to rhetoric and composition is this concept of inventing uh, inventing an argument or inventing a um, a message and coming up with what it is exactly that you're trying to say uh, can be challenging and it can actually in many ways take up more time than anything else because if you already know what you're trying to say then the actual writing of it might not be that hard um, but you certainly can't write something if you don't know what it is you're trying to say now another form of um, another way in which you know lack of knowledge can be a problem for writing projects or creative projects is not really understanding what kind of process you could use or not really knowing in, a, in some other way how to go about completing a project or even starting a project so um, I personally like to think about uh, composition as a, as a process uh, and not like a product based thing I mean yes eventually you're gonna publish work or eventually you're going to submit something or you're going to turn it into your boss or whatever the case is but you want to think about composition as something that kind of happens over a series of revisions and a series of uh, steps so whether it's starting with a prompt and then going into a brainstorming mode and then going into um, you know developing a working thesis and outlining and drafting and then revising and editing you know when you, when you go through all those steps or you think about writing as a series of steps in a process then if you're having trouble with how do I do this like you don't know not that you don't know what to say but you don't know how to say it or you don't know how to continue with it 
the ability to focus on steps in the process can really help to avoid some of those problems and I would recommend looking in the module there is a link to a thing called writing as a process that you can actually uh, kind of explore a flow chart it's kind of like a mind map slash flow chart thing and that explains um, you know at least from my perspective some of them some of the steps kind of in order when it comes to the writing process um, and one of those as mentioned here very this is just a couple of details here is outlining um, if you're having trouble moving forward with a project sometimes the best thing to do is outline because not a lot of people um, actually take the time to sketch out their ideas in an in a way that's organized before they start drafting a paragraph and I, I always recommend to people if you're having difficulty uh, just drafting the paragraph from scratch then start first by organizing your ideas because you're gonna get that organizational issue um, the arrangement of, of what you're trying to express out of the way then you can just focus on how you want to write the paragraphs themselves in order to make them stylistically effective uh, a very common thing so moving on from lack of knowledge a very common uh, additional issue that some people face with creative projects and with writing projects is this lack of confidence because sometimes you're given a project or you're or there's something you want to do but you're kind of scared um, you know in this case here someone looks like they might be a little camera shy but um, what I actually was kind of thinking is even more terrifying for us as people who are you know tasked with writing is the staring at a blank Microsoft Word document I don't know if any of you have felt this terror before but I certainly have in some cases and I know some of my students have expressed it um, sometimes there really is nothing as frightening as staring at that just beautiful blank Microsoft Word page right because or the word processing software whatever it is you use because you stare at the page there's nothing on it it's just blank and as soon as you start typing it's like you sometimes you get the feeling like you're just automatic you're just like immediately messing things up you know and I totally sympathize with that sense uh, because a lot of times we might have some good ideas in our mind but it's this really daunting task to try to get those things translated into symbols on the page um, and it's because re it's because writing's hard and reading's hard and and what you're doing is you're trying to code your thoughts into symbolic language and then gets in, in a way that's clear enough that someone else is going to understand what you're thinking through those symbols and that process of coding and decoding can be very um, uh, it can be it can be daunting like I said so what I'd like to stress here is that the best thing to do again just kind of goes back to the previous thing and some of these kind of connect together and I'm looking forward to our discussions because obviously I don't know everything um, but I feel like it's kind of like when I don't know if you at any other kind of time in your life if if you have a lack of confidence in a given situation you, you really kind of just have to take the risk and you have to start doing something even if it's uncomfortable even if you're not sure how it's going to turn out um, because even if it is a you know a total disaster it's kind of like on the one of the previous slides you know maybe maybe this image actually is more appropriate for uh, for the confidence thing um, or maybe not I just liked it because it was like a process image but if you look at it it says like oh will it end in disaster um, even if it does if it makes a good story then you know you should probably go ahead and do it I would say um, when it comes down to this lack of confidence thing like just imagine yourself at a you know at a social event at a party or something and you see somebody across the room that you're interested in starting a conversation with maybe you're interested in, in that person you know for maybe you, you are interested in asking the person out on a date or something like that or just going to talk to them to meet them and you really have two choices I mean you can either go you can either just go over there and do it and then maybe something nice will happen or you can just stay on your side of the room and not talk to the person and then nothing's gonna happen and it's the same thing with writing it's like if you don't actually start writing it's never gonna get written and um, you just kinda have to get over it and you, you gotta find that courage and one way that you can find the courage to to take the risk and write stuff down if you're having this problem is to realize that no writing is perfect there is no such thing as um, a perfect composition really in my opinion I think that a lot of people would agree that you know you can always improve um, and it, and it's also very unlikely that the first draft of anything you type out or write out is going to be the best or a good version of that thing that you're trying to communicate. I mean, it's just, it's, it, it, writing is very much a process based 
practice. I mean, you want to, you should assume that whatever you type out the first time that you're writing something down, you should assume that that's not the best version of that thing and that you are going to improve it. Um, so keep that in mind and hopefully that will help you to navigate these confidence issues. Um, another very common thing, and this is especially common for, for people who are given writing projects and not those of us who like to write on our own, you know, when we have our own inspiration and our own ideas, we are usually very interested in those things and so we don't have this problem. But if you are given a writing task by an instructor or by a um, a boss or something like that sometimes it's just complete lack of interest that you deal with and that problem is something that you you kinda have to just get over with you know there are situations in life where you're gonna have to create something you're gonna have to communicate idea an idea but like you might not want to do it but you just kinda have to you're just gonna be required to and of course when you're in an if you're in a class and your teacher says to write something and you're not interested in the topic um, Listen, there's really two, there's again, there's there's a couple different ways to approach this. And one of those ways is to think, all right, I have to do this. So let's just get over the bad attitude or get over the, the lack of interest and then just make it happen. You know, just be professional, own it, take care of business. But there is another way to think about it too. And I think that this is a more kind of a, a, a personal growth kind of way. And this is what I think is even better for people who are in an educational scenario. If you're given a topic to write about or a set of topics to choose from and you're not interested and you just absolutely are not interested, in, well, what, you should ask yourself, why is it that someone has suggested that I write about these topics in the first place? Because it may be that you're not interested in the topic because you just don't understand why it's relevant to you, or you don't really know enough about the topic to to see why it is actually interesting. Sometimes it is it is precisely the, the, the requirement that you look into something from a different or the idea that you look at a, a topic from maybe a different perspective or think about approaching it from a unique angle and that's when you can start to understand how and why topics that you once thought were not interesting to you actually do have relevance to your life so it's another way to think about that um, the last thing that I want to talk about, so the first one was lack of knowledge, and then we talked about lack of confidence. Um, this is lack of uh, interest was the last one, and then this one is lack of focus, and these are kind of the four main categories of, of obstacles to writing process that I like to, to discuss with students. Lack of focus clearly is a problem that we a lot of people face in many situations in life, and you absolutely, in writing projects or any kind of creative project, want to get yourself to a place where you are able to really focus on the thing that you're doing. If you're not able to focus because you have no interest and because you're having difficulty figuring out what to do and you're frustrated, you got to work out those other problems first. But ultimately, even if you know exactly what you want to do and you find yourself in a situation where you've got distractions all over the place, place I mean you know this kid looks like you know he's going insane with the Xbox but if you think about like you know if you have roommates or if you've got family and you share a living room with them and you're trying to do your writing sitting on the couch while your roommates are all playing video games or your family's watching you know something on TV it's gonna be really distracting potentially um, not necessarily I know some people are able to produce you know quality work like that just because that's how they are and this is going to be different for everyone but if you do see yourself having writing problems or having problems with the writing process then I strongly recommend that you try to find yourself a place uh, it's going to be again maybe different for everybody but try to find a place that you can actually have that's dedicated space for you that you know is kind of conducive to your own um, writing process and the different kind of characteristics that you have. I personally have always felt like I was more productive when I was um, outside. Some people have to be like in their room, total silence or maybe a little bit of music going on, a uh, little corner. If I remember um, correctly, I believe Stephen King, a very famous uh, horror novelist, you know, a very famous novelist, um, was uh, he had a book called On Writing. It's been years since I read it, and so I encourage you to, to check it out. I do remember enjoying it, but I, if I remember, he does recommend this idea of almost like this metaphorical idea of going into a cave, you know, like or going down into your basement into a corner where you can really create a, a total buffer between you and your creative process, or I mean, for you and your creative process, um, a buffer between that and the, the rest of the world so that you can have total focus. Some people need that. Some people, like myself, like to go outside and, and sit out there, although you can still get distracted by things. So you just kind of have to figure out what works for you. And if something's not working, then figure out how to solve it. So um, I appreciate taking the 
full 15 minutes it looks like to go through these different ideas here um, in one of the activities that you'll be doing uh, subsequent to viewing this presentation, um, you're going to be discussing your own writing place or what would be an ideal writing location for you. Um, also thinking about which of these writing behaviors, these problematic behaviors uh, you've suffered from and how you've managed to you know get over them and also what other problems might you have. Feel free to um, to do that stuff and if you're just watching this on YouTube and you're not in one of the classes I guess feel free to leave a comment here because uh, I certainly don't know everything like I said and it's just a I think a really interesting discussion to have about what it is that gets in the way when we're trying to put something together whether it's a writing project or any other kind of creative project anyway thanks again for listening and I'll uh, see you around